Trey. And on today's episode, we are going to make you some falafel, which is technically a Mediterranean fritter. Our ingredients for our Mediterranean chickpea fritters, all, aka falafels, are two cups of dried chickpeas that we soaked in water overnight. We now have them drained and ready to go for our falafels. We also have a cup of chopped parsley, a small onion, onion that has been chopped, along with one clove of garlic. We also have a quarter cup of fresh chopped cilantro, and then we have two fresh mint leaves that we have chopped. And then our seasonings for our falafels are? A tablespoon and a half of salt, teaspoon and a half of pepper, and a teaspoon of coriander, and cumin. And we're gonna run those through the food processor, get a nice consistency, make those into some balls, and deep fry them. Right. Now let's get to making some delicious falafels. All right, now we're gonna take our chickpeas, onions, and garlic, put them in the food processor, pulse them up until they have a coarse consistency, and then we're gonna add our fresh herbs and seasonings into the food processor with that, course it up again until we get the consistency that we want in order to form balls so that we can put them in the fryer. All right, now that we just processed the chickpeas, the onions, and the garlic, we are now going to add the fresh herbs and the seasonings. Now that we're done mixing all of our ingredients, we're going to put in the food processor one more time and process it a little bit. All right, so now we have our falafel mixture blended up and ready to go. We got our oil uh, heated to 350. We're gonna make tablespoon sized balls. Um, roll them loosely in our hand, try not to pack them too tight. And then we're gonna fry them off for about three minutes or so until they're nice and golden brown. And then drain them on some paper towel line, cooking sheet or plate. And then we'll make our falafel sandwiches. Now we're going to fry those up for about three minutes and let you know how they look like when they come out. And there you have it. A nice golden brown falafel ball. All right, now our falafels are ready. They went ahead and cooled down. Um, we went ahead and made some pitas with the falafels. You, you can also just eat them by themselves. Uh, we got some thinly sliced Roma tomatoes, cucumbers, and onion on some pita bread. We got some tzatziki sauce that we made last night. And um, I mean, as you can see, they, they, they beg to be eaten. So can I eat one now? You can eat one now. All right. This will be the okay. true test. She's never had falafel before. You guys, I'm excited. This smells so good. <laughs> How's that? It's good stuff? Mm -hmm. It's Kaylee approved and mm -hmm. Kaylee tested. Thumbs up for me. So very, very simple recipe. It takes a little bit of uh, prep time, but we definitely hope that you give this recipe a try. And as always, thank you for watching. And bon appetit.